So just last week, Serato dropped a bombshell of an update to Serato DJ with version 3.0 that included the new live stems feature in the DJ software. And it looks like this week, they're updating their production software, Serato Studio, to also include the live stems feature. So let's go ahead and take a look. So here we have Serato Studio 2.0 beta open. And the big feature that they've added to this 2.0 release is just like in Serato DJ 3.0, they've added the live stems feature, which here, in Serato Studio, you can see on the top left side, we have the same options so we can stem out vocals, melody, bass, and drums. This means we can either take some of these elements out or just solo one of them or have any combination of these four and at a press of a button, we can have that stem feature just take effect. So for instance, I can go ahead and take all of these out and just leave the drums or have everything playing. Or maybe just the bass and drums. Or maybe just the bass. Or if we go to where the vocals are, I can just remove these, just have vocals. Right? Or I can just add the melody in. Right. Or maybe I just want the vocals and the, the drums. And just like in Serato Studio 3.0, while the stems are very usable in a lot of the cases, sometimes it's a little muddy and not something that you're going to want to use just by itself. For, so for instance, if we just do the melody here at the intro... It still sounds pretty good and if you layer it with other things on top of it, it's still probably gonna be very usable. But what I think is huge with adding this into Serato Studio is now I have the ability to add other effects, other plugins that I would use for production or making DJ edits to either clean this up, clean these stems up, and then with that I can export it out into um, either Serato DJ or another DAW, maybe Ableton, or just use it in another way, or just bring it back into Serato Studio and use that cleaned up version in Serato Studio. So to do that, I would just go ahead and open the effects right here, and then go down to my plugins. I have all my effects plugins here. So I don't know. We could just add all sorts of stuff, or we can just use the ones that come stock in uh, Serato Studio. So for instance, maybe I want to low pass filter this. Actually, let's high pass filter this, right? So EQ, get rid of some of that muddiness. Maybe add a little reverb to just kind of clean it up a little bit. And this is a secret uh, that I, I, or a tip I should say that I saw on um, one of Cut Corner streams where just adding a little bit of reverb adds a lot to when you stem stuff out. All right, then without it, sounds a lot, a lot more muddier. So the ability to add effects and even studio quality effects, you can add some really crazy plugins, all the expensive plugins that you might have bought. You know, there's tons of them out there. The ability to have that added to that live stems feature, just taking stuff out or just, you know, making your own instrumental or whatever the case is, just adds a whole new element to using this live stems in the Serato ecosystem. And of course, Serato Studio is super simple to use to either start production or start DJ edits. And just adding this stems feature just adds a whole new level to why I'm gonna recommend this time and time again to anyone getting started or anyone that's just, oh, do you know how to make an acapella? Do you know how to make an instrumental? Uh, where do you get your acapellas? Where do you get your instrumentals? Now I can just firmly suggest Serato Studio and just, give it to them and just, hey, yo, check this out. Because number one reason being, this is completely free. Again, there is the paid version of Serato Studio, but if you're just looking to make your own acapellas or instrumentals, there's really no reason to not at least try Serato Studio 
and get all of the acapellas and instrumentals that you ever wanted and even have the ability to clean them up a little bit and then take that back into the Serato DJ and use it in your DJ sets in a whole new way. Since its release, whenever a DJ or a friend asks me how they can get started with production or making their own DJ edits, Serato Studio has been my number one recommendation. And that's because it's so simple to get started and so easy to get some real tangible results. And now with the addition of the Live Stems feature, it makes Serato Studio an even more indispensable production tool. Now while the addition of Live Stems in Serato DJ was a huge game changing feature for all the DJs out there, I personally think that the addition of Live Stems in Serato Studio is going to have an even bigger impact. All the producers and beat makers out there that always wish they could pull a drum break out of a track in their library or maybe a bass line, now it's possible with Serato Studio. And now for the question of the day, where are you going to use live stems more often? In Serato DJ or in Serato Studio? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you found this video useful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more DJ and production related content, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next one.